for joining us. Today we are going to talk about climate change and jellyfish. More specifically, the effects that climate change is having on jellyfish. That's right. With the waters warming up, evidence points to an ocean with increasing amounts of jellyfish. This could become a real problem for the ecosystems and organisms that jellyfish inhabit. More jellyfish equals more predators, which can always lead to harmful outcomes on an ecosystem. We now go to our local climate change guru, Dylan. Dylan, what exactly is climate change doing to have an effect on the ocean? Thanks guys. So as they briefly mentioned, changes in the subtropic climate have led to water temperature increases. This is due to what they call the greenhouse effect, which is where greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide trap heat in the atmosphere instead of letting it escape into space as some of it does. This hotter atmosphere then inevitably heats up the water and, you know, heating up the water, it just isn't good for fish. Thanks guys, hope this helped. Great explanation, thanks Dylan. But where is this happening? Well, luckily we have just the person to tell us. Hayden? Yep, Emily, as you can see here, it's happening all over the world, but there are some main key hotspot areas. As you can see in the Atlantic, along the Europe and African coastline, but mainly in the Gulf of Mexico right here. As you can see, looking at the chart of the Gulf of Mexico, we can see how much climate change has changed in the past couple years. Now we can see here, there's a clear correlation between surface temperature and jellyfish blooming. Evidence shows that there is an increase in plankton when water temperature increases. Planes being a main source of food for jellyfish would then be able to sustain larger amounts of them. However, I'm far from an expert. That's why we sent Tanner Howe, our lead reporter, to go ask some real experts. Thanks. I'm here at OCSB to talk to Dr. Miglietta, who runs the jellyfish lab. Okay. So what are you studying in the jellyfish lab? Okay, so we have different projects, non species, but we have another common species, Aurelia, the um, moon jellyfish, which is very common, you find it everywhere. And we have the polyps in the lab, and with that species, we're trying to understand how the polyps react to changes in temperature, for example. We know that the Gulf of Mexico is going to become warmer, right? That by the end of the century, it's going, it's predicted, it's going to go up the temperature three degrees Celsius. So what's going to happen to these polyps, right? Are they going to uh, thrive? Are they going to be stressed out? Are we going to have more jellyfish blooms, less jellyfish blooms? What can we expect uh, from um, this scenario and so that's a little bit more an ecological part of the study. So how does the kind of jellyfish that you're studying affect their ecosystems and how does it change when there's like a balloon? Yeah so when they occur they can be massive right and what is the problem with that? They are top predators so they feed on everything any kind of larvae from um, fish larvae to other invertebrates, so they, they are very voracious predators. So you can imagine this sea of jellyfish, the impact that it has on, on the other species because it feeds on them. Uh, and then they die and they die off and they, they are digested by bacteria, so they have an effect on the bacteria community as well. So how does warmer water temperatures affect the kind of jellyfish? That is a complex question so it depends on the species and some species what we noticed is that the temperature the high temperature and the shallow water are not going to be good for them it's going to be too hot for them to survive so when you have you know in the summer those peaks of very high temperature those can be deleterious they can kill off the polyps now it depends on the range where they live there is a new species that we discovered here in the gulf of mexico that lives in more deep water so it tolerates uh, um, lower temperatures because probably the polyps are down there in the ocean so they, they don't um, um, they are not here where the, the temperature goes up so it really depends on the species and there is a clear idea there is some indications that some species will be favored and so we're gonna see more blooms for from the species but there is also some indication that some species will suffer from the high temperature okay, thank you very much Thank you to Dr. Mutineta, and that was so interesting. Yeah, it was, and as she mentioned, jellyfish are really impactful on their environment. 
And that's a really good takeaway point. If nothing gets done and the sea temperature keeps rising, it will have various uh, detrimental effects on almost every ecosystem in the Gulf. Thanks to all our viewers for watching this special. I hope you guys have learned something new today. And remember, get it on.